Hello. Hello. Yeah, we've got Brad's video here. Of, yeah. We're going to, me and John are going to play through it. John's been laughing his. Um... Yeah, I, I've just been, I've been, I've been tearing up laughing at just all the crap he says in that video. Yeah, I mean, Brad, I mean, I acknowledge Brad as a Christian, but I'm even struggling with that now because a couple of months ago, you know, I still think he's a saved man. I just think he's made some serious mistakes. Yeah. And me, pers me personally, I'll, I'll just say this. I actually honestly having a hard time thinking you say it, just considering the fact that he's just so brazen about calling Jesus flesh sinful and skin suit stuff. Yeah. I mean, the fact that he's just so brazen about this this open and blatant blasphemy, I at that point, I, I actually have a hard time, you know, believing he's saved. I want to think he is saved, but I have a hard time believing yeah. that. But, yeah. but due to his, his doubling down of the wicked blasphemy. Yeah. Um, we were talking earlier on this previous stream. I can't remember if it was the last one or the one before it, John. He thinks you're my, uh, I mean, it's just yeah. ridiculous. He thinks you're my disciple or something. I mean, I've never tried to tell you what to do or say or think. Yeah. I've never been bossy with you. And that's the fun thing, too, is that, you know, if he can't show proof of his accusations, it's all just hearsay and slander. It's, all, it's nothing more than that. Well, normally, if you make a clip, <coughs> it's good to come up with some evidence or proof of it. But then yeah. all he's going to say is, well, how am I going to prove that he's a Jesuit? Because these people are in secret. Yeah. Well, and the thing yeah. is, he, and funny, because he even, he even says in the video, he acknowledges that you make anti-Catholic videos. He's, he says, like, verbatim, he makes anti-Catholic videos, but he's still a Catholic. Oh, that's yeah. part of the tactics, yeah. I mean, yeah. I've been, listen, John, I don't want to patronize you. I'm not trying to, you know what I mean? But you, I've showed you my Twitter channel. I mean, I've done 60,000 tweets at least against Roman Catholicism. Yeah. You know, exposing their lies, the, the, the abortion USA and other stuff, Trump is a Jesuit yeah. and all this. And, I mean, it was just a waste of time, you know. And the fun I, thing about that too is that the streams he's basically whining about, in those streams, when you, you and I were bashing the living daylights out of Catholicism in those very streams that he's whining about. Yeah. So that's, that's the fun part. Great. That's the fun part. In those very streams where like, you both oh, are well, that's a Jesuit tactic, John, isn't it? What? That's a Jesuit tactic. I mean, if we were truly Jesuits, if I was truly a Jesuit provincial, Brad wouldn't have a channel. Yeah. Would he? Really? Exactly, yeah. Now, if, you're saying, if we were both Jesuits, like, just think about it logically. If we were both Jesuits, then if he's, our, if he's you know, quote-unquote exposing us, we could just have his channel deleted. But we don't. You know, if we were, because if, if we were Jesuits, we could, he would, like you said, if, if we were Jesuits, he wouldn't even have a channel at this point. Yeah. And we would have bigger channels. Yeah. We, yeah. I, I, I would, I would not only have 450 subscribers. I would have like thousands and thousands of subscribers. Oh yeah. 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 I, I, I would, I would not. Plus, too, it's like, you know, if we're Jesuits, but let's just think of it this way. I have over 140 videos against Jesuits. So if I'm a Jesuit, I'm bad at it. Yeah, and um, here's the thing too is that you know someone will say, well, speaking against Catholicism doesn't prove anything. But what what's what's the main distinction is that, and according to Eric Phelps, so this is Eric Phelps, the expert on the Jesuits. He says that a Jesuit coadjutor they'll speak against Catholicism, but they won't speak against Jesuits. Well, guess what? We speak against both Catholics and Jesuits. So so even by the standards of Eric Phelps, who's the expert on the Jesuits, we're not yeah. we're not Jesuits because we speak against both Catholics and Jesuits, not just only Roman Catholics. I've got to say, though, I do think that they might well speak against Jesuits if it was authorized, you know, if they could, do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, it, well, I, I just remember hearing Eric Phelps say that, like, a Jesuit code, yeah. they'll, they'll, they'll speak against Catholicism as a religion, but they won't touch the Jesuits. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I, I actually like Brad. That's the thing, you know what I mean? Uh, not that that means anything to him, but, I mean, I've had, hundred. I mean, definitely over 100 hours of conversation with him. I've never been uh, rude or nasty to him. Uh, yeah. I pointed out a couple of things I wasn't happy with, politely, you know. Why does he just keep doing this? Well, me, me personally, too, I don't know what his deal is. I just think he, he, he just wants attention, really. That's my that's my theory. He just wants attention. Yeah. Because, like, the way he acts in his videos, he doesn't act like a, like a, like a, like, for example, a sober-minded preacher. He, like, he acts all erotic and, and all kinds of, all kind like, all just, like a like an ADHD, you know, sugar high child or something like that. Yeah. 
And, and that's not being mean. Not, that's not me being mean. You can watch my video called Accountable KGB's Blasphemy Statements. He literally acts like he's drunk in that video. Like he like he definitely is not sober in some of these videos. Because like, I, I've seen how drunk people act, and he acts just like one in some of these videos. Well, he's got 18 views on it. I thumbed it down. So did I. I'm amazed. Oh, no. no, maybe I'm not amazed. Shall we play some of this video, John? I'll yeah, we, I'll, I'll, let's play it. It's going to be fun. Uh, how do I add it now? Did you have it up before? Uh. Oh, by the way, I might have to mute my mic occasionally because I'll probably be laughing throughout this whole thing. So just I might have to mute my mic occasionally. Hello, let me. Oh, there it is. Look. No. So put it full screen. Yeah, you do it full screen. Oh, there we are. This is gonna be funny. I, okay, I'm, I'll have to mute my mic occasionally because I'll just be dying laughing this whole thing. So you already knew about this before I emailed you about well, it. Well, well, you, well, I actually heard about when you emailed me. I just, I checked on it and I like, wow, this is. I, I, my first thought was, wow, this is gonna be funny. So, yeah. and it was. But you said earlier that Matthew pointed out that this man is a liar. Yeah, yeah, Matthew Lando. I, I have the screenshot of the comment. Uh, he and the comment was deleted, but in in the comments of JT's uh, video on Philip and, and accountable KGB, Matthew Lando openly said that, that that Brad is basically a lost person and a blasphemer. Yeah, and a liar. I yeah. think I think you mentioned that. I don't yeah, he mentioned a liar, still... a lost blasphemer, and and something else too. Have we still got that screenshot, John? I'll see if I can find it. I think I have it saved in my my Google Photos. Right, I'll play a bit of this. Uh, sure. Here we go, then. Come on, then, Brad. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> the <sun. laughs> oh, dear, Brad. Mop your furrowed brow. Oh, by the way, too, if anyone watches, if anyone thinks we're, or we're, being, we're being mean to him, look at the kind of false accusations he said about us. We have, we kind of have a, have a right to be angry. Let's just, throw, I want to just get that out there. Well, I don't even think it either it was angry, John. I mean, how could you be my pet, pet poodle attack bunny? Uh, from, I mean, you <laughs> live in Canada. I'm in good old England. Yeah, we're thousands of miles away from each other. And the thing is, too, I'm not. I'm personally not angry. I just, I'm, I was actually laughing the entire time because it just. I mean, the, the crap he says in the video is just so ridiculous. Right, let's see your Brad sigh then. Wave his hand about. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know when you want it to pause, John. <laughs> sure. Oh, is it echoing or anything? No, no, it's not. No. Oh. There's something wrong with you. There is something very, very wrong in the in la cabeza with you. There, there really is. There. Dude, leave this young man alone, okay? What is it with you? <laughs> You're a devil. Hold on. Leave, <laughs> leave this young man alone. What was he trying to imply there? Uh... How did I? How, why? Uh, what were the circumstances of you coming into that first stream I did with you like a day or so ago, John? Um, oh, you was live streaming a video or something? Yeah. I, I made a I, to be honest, when, I, when, when he said that, I wasn't sure was he referring to Aaron or myself. It, he might have been referring to me. I'm not sure what, because I'm, I'm I'm a young man. But like, the thing is, again, he's just, he's so vague. He's never he's never like like. Like even even in this video, he barely actually mentions our names. He just is very vague about us. I think he's referring to me. Like I've got to leave you alone. I mean, like, I uh, yeah, I, I think he's he's referring. I'm I'm the young man he's referring to, and then he's telling you to leave me alone, which is like, well, thing is, I asked you to stream, so it's like, like you know, uh, insinuations, really. Yeah, Brad. I don't go pestering John. I haven't spoken to John since uh, on a stream since before Christmas, easily. Yeah, I mean the the stream we did yesterday was like the the first we had done in, in months. Oh, you lost. Ah, uh, you lost. You're a closet Catholic. Yes. No. Beelzebub. Oh dear. <laughs> Higgin yeah. in Lucifer's loin. Yes. Those are adjectives, by the way. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> boot the door. An excellent bloke. 
Hitty, this man is. <laughs> Big pardon. <laughs> Oh, I mean, he's done that before. <laughs> why, does he do, why does he do that? Why does he feel the need to do that on video? Why does he feel the need to do that? Yeah. Uh, like, to me, it, to me personally, I think it's just kind of disgusting when you just have to do it on video. It, it's just kind of disgusting, really. Calling me a Catholic. I mean, really? <laughs> and and it's not, I'm like, I'm like your, your, your pet monkey or something. Yeah. It's funny, too, it's, it's funny too because I've never heard you call me your, a pet monkey, so I don't know where he's getting that from. Oh, he's made it up, honey. Probably is. I won't, won't surprise me one bit. The guy's a liar. Won't, won't surprise me one bit. He thinks I'm trying to use you, John. I think you're a bit too smart for that, especially after that debacle with the Brian Denling crew. I, I think you were you, you woke up to that kind of um, behavior more so. Oh, oh well. Truth is, truth is that truth is that whenever some of these jokers attack me, I just laugh because like it's like I don't take anything they say seriously because they're, they're so ridiculous. Well, I can't take that bit seriously. You know the spitting and all that. I mean, that's just. Uh... I think it's just kind of disgusting when you do it on video. I, like I don't see what the, I don't understand what the point of that is. Yeah. You can you can put continue mm, video. Point. I get that way when it comes to Catholics, closet Catholics, of course. The, this guy here, let, let me give you the gist on this guy. Turn in your authorized version of the scriptures to Proverbs chapter 5, verses 3 on to verse 7. Today, this guy's channel is called Boot the Door. Who knows what it'll be in a couple of hours or so, okay? But let me give you the gist on this guy. Proverbs... Hold on. <laughs> the last channel got deleted, John. Really? by youtube because somebody came into my studio with you know like with with one pro youtube profile image I, I didn't know who it was i was willing to talk to them i wasn't sort of wise to that kind of behavior it wasn't something you know what i mean and then i let him into the studio and then he changed his image to some disgusting pornographic thingy i booted him out i, I just left it at that i didn't think there was going to be any but I got my channel deleted because oh. of it. I have had different channels because, I, I mean, I get sick of YouTube, really. Well, I honestly don't blame you. YouTube is a pretty vexing place. Well, there's a lot of toxicity on it. Yeah, and this guy's one of them. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. I did sort of used to think he was a bit better than that. Yeah. Obviously not. <clears throat> yeah, you can, yeah, you can continue, to continue the video. Oh no, hang on, hang on a sec. I, I want to get my, I want to get myself a beverage first. It's gonna be fun. Hang on okay, a I'll be, I'll be back in like five seconds. Um, if Brad had said this to some of the Christians I used to fellowship with in jail, uh, uh, they would laugh. They would laugh. Well, actually, they wouldn't laugh at him. They wouldn't find him funny or amusing at all. And I don't think they'd have much to do with it. With him, I mean. No time for liars. I, don't, I haven't told any lies about Brad. Yeah, I changed my YouTube channel. I like playing about with it. I'm not good at picking YouTube usernames, so I'm probably going to stick to boot the door. Boot the door and shout through the crack. Just got myself some uh, banana stuff. I like bananas too. And plus, I got myself bananas because the level of bananas in this video is insane. <laughs> is Boa there? Uh, he is. I don't know. Whenever whenever I play a Carnival KG videos, he always leaves the room. So. Right. So I'll play a bit more of this one. You, you just play the whole thing. I want to. This is going to be funny. Chapter 5, verses 3 on to verse 6. For the lips of a strange woman drop as an honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil. A strange woman, unknown of. This guy is a Catholic. He is a closet Catholic. I used to think he was an actual Jesuit. Maybe he is. I don't know. He is definitely working for the Vatican. Um, he comes out with... Oh, no. No, I'm not, Brad. If it was, I'd be earning a lot more money. 
I certainly, I can guarantee you I wouldn't be wasting my time with you. <laughs> and the thing is, too, if you were a Jesuit, his channel would have been gone already. You, you could just order it deleted. So the fact that well, he's still on YouTube is already pro enough proof. Actually, if I was a Jesuit, I could see the value in just leaving his channel there and getting him more views. Just so that his foolishness and the trouble he caused within the Blind Denlinger crew would, would sort of increase. Mm -hmm. I mean, if the Jesuits were truly attacking his channel, yeah, some may well just delete his garbage. But why would somebody even bother? I mean, how many... How many... Oh, I don't know how many subscribers he's got. He hides it. But I think it was about 600 subscribers he had. You know, in comparison to the... I mean, I've seen videos on YouTube, John, yeah. that have literally got two and a half billion views. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. This guy barely gets 20 or 30, and I don't get that much. Better. Yeah, you can continue the video now. The videos against Catholics, but in actuality, he worships the Eucharist cookie, the skin no, suit. He is a Catholic, okay? No. He is a Catholic, okay? And her mouth is smoother than oil. Oh, you listen to this guy? He always sounds so sweet, so endearing, mm. so innocent. Mm. You get this guy mad enough, which is very easy to do. You're looking at me right now seething, aren't you? Mm. Good for you. You get this guy mad enough, he will send you offensive emails. Right. Now, that offensive email I sent was after I'd been falsely accused of being a Jesuit and other stuff in his stupid video. That video, if you remember, John, where he said, My dearest, sweetest brother Aaron, <laughs> you know, like that. I can't remember what else he said. Yeah. Yeah, I sent him that email because they falsely accused me of being a Jesuit. So I thought, well, I'm going to accuse all of you <laughs> of being a paedophile until it proves that you're not a pedo, right? Yeah. Uh, then I don't want to talk to you because I knew that they couldn't prove otherwise. I knew that they're not. But it's yeah. about the equivalent of what they accused me of, really, if you know anything about the Jesuits. And I did regret that email. Um, I still do regret that. I repented of it. Uh, I just vented my spleen a bit. <laughs> you know, I mean, that was how long ago was that now? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just sorry, I'm just dying laughing right now. It, it, it was easily just over two years ago, I think. Yeah. Anyway, curse words, yes, attack you personally, S try to smear your name in the mud like so many. Well, then what are you doing, you muppet? Yeah, like what you're, like, like, like what you're doing in this video, Brad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> about me. And not to mention the other clips I have on my channel of you calling me a Jesuit with no proof at all, you know? Yeah. Anybody who knows me knows, knows perfectly well. I'm no Catholic. And again, if I'm a Jesuit, I'm bad at it because I've done 140 videos against the Jesuits. So if, I, if I'm some kind of Jesuit, I'm pretty bad at it. Right, well, let's carry on because... This guy is a devil, okay? Um, this guy will also publicly uh, use profanity if mad enough. But then again, he... <coughs> when did they do that? I don't when remember did... you doing that. I mean... Well, you would remember, John. Have I have I sworn anybody used the F bomb uh, on live? Oh uh, no, I I mean, not that I can remember. I mean, I I I don't have the best memory, but not that I can remember. I think it would stick out, wouldn't it? Oh, it would, yeah. Okay, let's carry on. <clears throat> he hides his tracks because uh, he doesn't want to be discovered. But yet, he wants to be discovered. He, he went out and accused people of buying subscribers. Uh, I can prove that, by <laughs> the way. I've got videos of it. I went on uh, Social Blade, John. 
uh, for Brian Downlinger's channel. When you look at Brian Downlinger's channel, it's got about, is it 36,000 views, uh, subscribers? Yet when he does a live stream, I don't think he gets more than 150 people turning up, if that. <laughs> yeah. But he got like, what, 40,000 subscribers? That got like no more than 150, 150 to 100 people? Yeah. Exactly what this guy does. This guy buys subscribers. This guy is a wicked devil. And he works in tandem with his little pet monkey. And those are words of his own mouth. Okay? He calls <laughs> his, his little underlings little monkeys. <laughs> when was the last time I called you a monkey, John? I don't think I did. You would remember. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where he's getting this from, but... Hello, everyone. I'm his pet monkey. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, John, I can't... I've never called you a pet monkey. Yeah, this guy is a clown. <laughs> no, I don't, no, I don't remember that. No, I never said that. <laughs> yeah, I would have probably remembered it. I mean, I, I, don't, I have a bad memory, but that's something I would have probably remembered. Yeah. And he also has a pet monkey who works in tandem with him, who go uh, one and one attacking people and whatnot, here, that, and the other thing, okay? This guy... Attacking people, uh... I mean, even I, in the last two streams I've done with you, John. Yeah. And in terms of me attacking people, it's, it's called, in terms of me attacking people, it's called me rebuking false prophets. If that's me attacking people, then, well, I guess you, you, I guess you might have had to call uh, the Apostle Paul a Jesuit too, because he did the same thing. Yeah. But, uh, well, I wouldn't say attacking, but we're exposing, like, Roman Catholicism, Islam, uh, you know, cults. And also wicked devils, also wicked false accusers like this too. Yeah. I'm amazed at you, Brad, if you ever listen to this, which I doubt. Yeah. He, he knows perfectly well we're not Catholics, John. Well, I mean, again, like, like the, the kind of circumstances, I'm a 20-year-old working class kid in Canada who lives alone, who's struggling to make ends meet, but somehow I'm a Jesuit. Yeah. I mean, just the, the circumstances make no sense. I mean, if I was a Jesuit, I would not be living in this ghetto area you know, struggling to make ends meet if I'm some kind of Jesuit. I would have got laws of paychecks from the Vatican by now if I was some kind of agent for them. Here's Adam Watt. I don't know if you know Hi. Adam Watt. He's on Twitter. Uh, yeah, this, this is... Oh, uh, hey. How are you? Yeah. Aaron, put a link to your channel in the side chat if you want. Is, is yeah. he okay, John, isn't he? Well, he, he is. yeah, he's, a, he's, a, he's a friend of mine. We talk over Instagram. Oh, people. right, yeah. yeah. I've, I've communicated with him yeah from time to time on uh twitter uh, yeah i don't go on twitter so much now yeah twitter's very toxic i don't use it i, I don't use it it's, just, it's way too toxic yeah i mean all the catholics just block you anyway and then your tweets end up going nowhere really yeah Something like that yeah you can continue the video yeah aaron put a, a link uh hold on have i yeah aaron i'm gonna make him a mod you can go ahead and do a. He's a very nice guy. You should make him a mod. Yeah, he's a mod. Oh, Aaron does YouTube. He retracted his message. Oh, right. Yeah, you're the moderator anyway, uh, Aaron. Post a link to your channel in the side chat. Right, let's a bit more of this. Uh, this, this is going to be funny. His channel, he's got so many channels, so many, you can't even... No, I haven't. Well, actually, I've got another channel. Uh, what's that called? I've got a few sock channels, and I'll tell you why. It's so I can make sure I can read the comments, John. Yeah. I think that's... Because you, when you get blocked by somebody who's attacking you, you want to make sure you see what the comments are sometimes. Yeah, exactly. They want to see if they're talking smack about you. I, I, I do that too. Like I might, I, I, I have like a account that I, I use to where I see comments that people are talking smack about me. I take screenshots and you know whatever. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, if someone's talking smack about me, I want to know about it. I don't like you know being slandered behind my back. At least I at least want to know about it. I'm gonna pin uh, is uh, Aaron's YouTube channel. Uh...
You can, yeah. you can continue the video while we're at it. Yeah. All right, sorry. And keep track of them. Um, his his ones is the uh, Pope Brian Denlinger thing, and uh, the cult archive one might be his little pet monkey. Uh, might be his. I don't know, but it's associated with this guy. Okay, this guy has a myriad of channels, just like his little pet monkey does. Yes, and these two work in tandem. These guys are not saved. These guys. I don't have a myriad of channels at all. I've got about four. I'm Two. just curious. I'm just curious to know what, how he thinks that a, a channel that that is archiving Brian Dillinger's videos by the seem by the looks of it is somehow connected to us. No, not always. There is another I'm, a couple of channels that have been downloading some of my video, old videos on there. Yeah, there are there are there are channels that that seem to upload your videos. I mean. But that's yeah. the, but he but he thinks those are your channels or something like that. But I don't know. I actually don't know who it is, John. I thought it was you, but it just doesn't. I I, I came across his channels. I'm like, oh, they're uploading your. I mean, they, they obviously know who you are, and they must. They're obviously subscribed to you. I mean, they, they obviously know about your videos at least. Yeah. These are lost. These guys are coagitors. Okay, and all they do is attack people. They cannot. This guy can't do. I mean, look at his content. Look at the content on this guy's channel. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. Look at it, man. <laughs> this okay, is all it is. And he's wanting to seek fellowship. That's all he's about. To worm himself in amongst the church of the living God. This guy is a wicked devil. You really got to watch out for him. Worming? I, I, I was, I was just going to say... Okay, Brad, just calm down, take a deep breath, you know, get some fresh air, just yeah. getting a bit hyper. Yeah, yeah, like seriously, he acts like your typical ADHD kid from the playground I would see when I was in kindergarten. That's that's what, honestly what he acts like. I'm not trying to worm myself in anywhere. I get people that uh, like Aaron Deering and other people saying stuff about me, and I'm obviously going to point out their hypocrisy, their, their lies. And the thing is, too, is that the streams we've done, most of the times I ask you, hey, can we stream? So it's like, it's not like you're like, it's like, like, oftentimes I'm the one that asks you to stream, not like the other way around. So it's like, you know, if you're, if you're somehow trying to worm your way in, it's like, what? Yeah. Anyway, you can, but we you can, can never prove that. You can continue, yeah. Again, it's all hearsay. Don't prove it's all just hearsay. But continuing in Proverbs chapter five. But her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Yeah, your end is bitter. You're not going to repent and go to heaven on your deathbed. Okay? You've made your choice. You're, you're gone. Any hope of you getting truly, genuinely saved? I doubt it. I do hope. If I could, if the Lord could grant me one wish... It's you. It was you who I would hope that the Lord would genuinely save. That the Lord would save my worst enemy. That's you. That's you. The, 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 those whack jobs who aren't of us, you know, who are uh, hirelings and want people's money. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about you. Okay? I would ask the Lord to save my greatest enemy. Because if you were to ever truly get saved, you could use this kind of stuff, but promoting the truth. But no, all you do is attack people. Look, okay, this young, this young man, okay, this young man has his problems, okay? I've spoke out against this young man, unfortunately. He oh, wait, 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 pause, pause it there for a second. So he admits he's spoken against me. So that means that some of these, some of these videos, he actually is mentioning me without mentioning my name. So, yeah. 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 So he. So yeah. He. He. He admits. There it is in the horse's mouth. He had there. So it's very possible those clips I posted are him talking about me as a Jesuit. So he admits it. Basically. Yep. But for him to say I'm not saved, I mean that's just from from my point of view. Obviously, that's just. Yeah. When you disagree with somebody or you point out someone's hypocrisy, they're going to they, usually the Christian will, will come out and say that. So that anything you say can be discarded by them and put them by other people, I suppose. Yeah, but again, the thing is that nobody outside of his little circle of friends take him seriously. Even the Brian Dunninger cult thinks he's lost too. So it's like like nobody really takes him seriously except for him and his little his like inseparable friends. 
Yeah, I mean, if only I could prove that I've got no leverage over here, John. I mean, apart from the last three days, we I mean, I've communicated, I've made comments on your videos now and again, but we haven't spoken to each other in this fashion, uh, apart from the last two or three days, in easily five or six months, I would say. I don't know. Is there a way of finding out? I don't know. I don't know. Let's listen to some more of this, Ruby. I'm, as, you know, I'm amazed at you, Brad. Seriously, I'm glad he shaved his beard off. It looks better, really. Yeah. Maybe whatever, okay? But come on, leave the kid alone. What's wrong? Yeah, pick on someone your own size, there. Pick oh, oh, wait, 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 hang on, hang on a second. This is coming from the guy who sent me kissing emojis in his email response to me. Yeah, I've never done any such thing with you, John. And not only that, when I was kicked out of Brian's cult, I actually went to you. You're the first person I went to. So. Yeah, and I, and I tried to help you. I didn't, so I wasn't condemnatory toward you. I didn't judge you. I was just glad to see that you'd walk. I mean, I was talking to King's Table. I mean, I'm going to get falsely accused now because I'm saying this. I was talking to King's Table a couple of days, maybe a week or so, and definitely over a couple of months before that. You know, I was expressing a, a amazement that you you were getting onto it, and, I, and I'm thinking yeah. in the back of my mind, yeah, John, John's not unwise to what's going on here in the in the Brighton the Denlinger crew, especially after that episode with Tim. Yeah, that that that, that was what began to open my eyes a bit. Yeah, and um, and then that video Brian did with uh, about the IFB. I'm not a supporter of IFB. Yeah, right. I've got that video in my thingy here. I'll play it later. And, and also, I want to point this out as well. He's making it seem like I like I, I have no personal thoughts. I can't think for myself. You're just controlling me. Uh, I may only be in my 20s, but I'm actually living on my own right now. I'm providing for myself. You know, I, I'm pretty yeah. capable of thinking independently and doing my own thing. I'm not some like little child like he's making me seem. Hmm. So, anyway, you can continue. And I'm also, I want to put out, I'm also personally capable of knowing when I'm being, when I'm, when someone's trying to manipulate me or not. So I should point that out as well. I'm not like some inexperienced little kid. I've, I've, you know, I may only be, I'm only being in my twenties, but I actually have been through, been through some stuff that has got me some experience. So I just want to point that out. Well, after that experience with the Denlinger crew and then yeah. listening to Van Deering's video. Yeah. Well, the one, one part of my experience is that I was involved in two different cults. First, the new IFB, then the Denlinger group. So I, I have some experience of how how certain people act. So I I, I, I can see it, I can see it a mile away. So I'm not. I I'm think not, even like, you were surprised at some of the things that Aaron Deering said. Yeah. You, in fact, even I was surprised a bit. I mean, some of the stuff that Aaron Aaron Deering revealed about Accountable KJV, it's like I was kind of shy. I, I like I knew they were wicked, but I didn't know they were that wicked. Oh, by the way, too, if anyone thinks that we're nuts, I encourage you to go watch Aaron's video he did on Accountable KGB. It, it's mirrored on one of those channels he's mentioning. But, like, Aaron during the video is showing that Accountable KGB was was essentially, like, manipulating him and abusing him. So I encourage you to go watch this video. If you if you think that that we should not, we should take anything like that this guy says seriously. Brad, that is. I feel sorry for Aaron Deering. I tried very hard to communicate with him. Yeah. I knew it was going to be difficult, John. It did eventually. He, 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 uh, deleted, he deleted his email. I tried emailing him this morning, but it, it just said email does not exist or whatever. Yeah, and then he got a bit paranoid on me. Yeah. Understandably. After yeah, well, yeah I don't blame him. I mean, what he went through I, with the Dellinger people, I don't blame him for being a bit paranoid. I don't hate Aaron. I've never hated the guy. I mean, I did find him annoying from time to time, you know. But And that video that he did on uh, Jeff Allen, I've never seen anything like it in my life. And here, here's the thing too is that you know I will say this when 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 Aaron Day first came and attacked me I will admit I did have kind of a bit of hate for Aaron because you know I, I just didn't like being slandered the way he did but the thing is if I but like if I had known what he was going through at the time I would have probably had a lot more sympathy for him because at the time I had no idea I I, I had no idea what he was going through so like because at the time I will admit like, like when he came out and, sl and slandered me like that I did have kind of some hate for him because I just I, I just didn't like being slandered like that but. No, you know, I, I, but again, I, but again, you'll keep, keep in mind, I had no idea what he was going through behind closed doors. So I, I was, I didn't know it this way. Yeah. 
That's fair enough, John, you know. Yeah. But like but had I known what he was going through, I would have probably had a lot more sympathy for him. Tough guy. Okay? All right? Who's a tough guy? Who, Your end is bitter as wormwood. Did it to me. We, whatever, okay? But come on. Leave the kid alone. What's wrong? Yeah, pick on someone your own size there, tough guy. Nobody's okay? picking on anybody. All right? Yeah. Your end is bitter as wormwood. Her feet go down to death. Her steps take hold on hell. Verse 6. Lest thou shouldest ponder the path of life, her ways are movable, that thou canst not know them. This guy will change his channel's name here after a little while. He might do it to be spiteful now, but see, he buy, buy subscribers. He constantly is changing. Always movable, that thou canst not know them. He wants to avoid detection, but yet he wants to be well known. Look, if I wanted to avoid detection, the easiest thing is to not bother uploading videos um, or hide them and just, you know, I don't know. I mean, I've got nothing Here's to Here's the thing. If you, want to, if you want to avoid detection, you would not post videos with your voice in them. You would you probably wouldn't even upload it at all. You wouldn't even have a profile picture. You wouldn't have any kind of information at all on your channel. You would just be a, no. like your typical sock puppet channel if you're trying to avoid detection. I mean, it's easy enough to find me, channel anyway. You just type in KJV because usually, I mean, in this case, I haven't got uh, K KJV in my YouTube title. I also want to point something out as well. He accuses you of, of buying subscribers, but notice how he doesn't show any proof. It's just, it's just him talking. See, when you did your video on buying buying subscribers, you actually showed the screen the screen grab of of, of like evidence, basically. Well, like him saying you buy subscribers, he, he doesn't show any proof. It's all just him him talking. There's no proof given. Well, I went on Social Blade. And, uh, I mean, if you look at my channel, it's obvious what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm trying to get more views from my channel. Yeah. Anyway, you but yet avoiding detection. Yeah. Okay. But what's really interesting, boot the door. This guy is not saved. Okay. I've spake at length against this excellent bloke. I have spake at length against this devil. Disgusting. Oh, excuse me. Excellent bloke. Okay. Boot the door. Hmm. In the video you just saw, made mention of this. Boot the door. This guy is a closet Catholic. And now his little entourage, you know, his little pet monkey with all his, <laughs> you know, the zombified looking pet monkey of his. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> An entourage of one. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I, I gotta mute myself. I'm, I'm dying right now. <laughs> An entourage of one. Oh. I, I, I hadn't watched it this far, so this is all just new content. To me. I watched like three minutes into the video. If I'm hiding, how come Brad? actually found me channel. I don't know. And if I look like a zombie, it's like, okay, I mean, my my room is kind of cold, so maybe I might look that way, but it's like... But it's really, if that... Oh, wait, I want to put this out as well. Uh, I want to read a verse of scripture about this. Uh, John Please. chapter 7, John chapter 7, verse 24. Here's a verse that, that comes to mind. John chapter 7, verse uh, 24. Or, not John seven twenty four. It is John chapter 7, verse... No, John... John yeah, sorry. John seven twenty four. I went to John 14. 424, sorry. So again, I'm, I'm just laughing so hard I can't even think properly. Uh, John chapter 7, verse... I guarantee you, if Accountable KGB sees this, he's going to probably attack me on that too. But yeah, John oh, yeah. chapter 7, verse 24. Judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. He's judging according to appearance, which is not righteous judgment. So just wanted to point that out. That's John 7, 24. Sorry, my mic. But he, I mean, he keeps lying about me. Yeah. And you. I'll, I also want to point this out as well. You know, personal attacks are not arguments, and they're not proof. No, they're not. Yeah, no, they're not. So call, calling me calling me a zombie doesn't prove anything. It's just a personal attack. Yeah, but I mean, where on earth would you get? I mean, there's no, there's no. 
what evidence does he have that I'm a Catholic? I mean, how can any, even that guy that was in the stream with us the other day, John, he would tell you I'm definitely not Catholic. Yeah. I'm sure with that. Yeah, this is just funny. You, you can continue the video. This is just really funny. You know, it's going to go on on a tear, and so is he. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. But I, I want to share this with you. His channel is named Boot the Door. This guy is not saved. He's a closet Catholic. How many, how is many he times, a Jesuit? Hang, I don't hang, know. Hang, 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 like, sure does act like one. Hang, like, how, how many times has he repeated that? It's like he keeps repeating himself over and over and over again. It's like, get to your point, buddy. Continue. He is smart. He is very intelligent. He knows how to word things. He knows how to deceive. He is skilled in the art of deception. What you okay. wait, hang, hang, hang on, hang on. It's like you mean you mean kind of like how you how you always will attack us but subtly not name us and and like just very 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 vague about it. Kind of like kind of I mean. like kind of like what you do in your videos, attacking us but not mentioning us. You know. Yeah. 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 You're right. Very very vague and subtle, just like you, accountable KJV. Anyway, you can continue. I've I've tried. You know what? I mean, he goes on about how he knows how to word things. What he doesn't realize is because I've never actually told him, obviously, because I don't communicate with him. I've been trying to improve my English over the last uh, two years, two and a half years or so. I've got some books on English, English grammar, yeah. things like that, you know, because I wanted to be able to express myself uh, more more better, more um, erudite-ly. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I just love it how he accuses us of being subtle with their words. Meanwhile, he's the one that is constantly attacking people without naming them. You know? Who's the, who's the one yeah. who's being subtle with their words? Yeah. I don't know why he think. I mean, he's actually convinced himself that we're a pair of closet Catholics, John. How on earth does he do that? Well, I, I guess when you just keep telling yourself stuff over and over again, you just, you just eventually believe it. I mean, just like psychologically, when you keep telling yourself things telling yourself things over and over and over again, and you, you kind of want to believe it, you just end up believing it's true. I think it's like what I said to you earlier, just before we start the stream, he, he's dug a pit, he's lied about people. He's either got to double down, triple down on it, or he's got to admit that he's, li he's lied and he's, be he's misrepresented the truth. Yeah. Well, he's doing that in his video right now. So, anyway, you can you can keep playing the video. This is just really funny entertainment when you get down to it. Okay. This is why many of us think he is a Jesuit. Is he? I don't know. Um, personally, with what wait wait you hang, know, hang on hang on read about the Jesuit order, someone who hang on, like, many of us think yeah. What you mean like you and your little followers that just watch your videos? I mean, literally, you look at the comments of his videos. It's always just the same people commenting. So many of us think he's Jesuit. Yeah, like you and your your five followers that comment over and over again. Sure. Anyway, you can continue. Cannot compose themselves as this guy can would not be truly anything to the Jesuits. But then again, the Jesuits keep pieces of excellent blokes like this around to suit their means. So, but anyway, boot the door, huh? Yeah. John chapter 10. Verses 9 and on to verse 11. This is Jesus Christ saying, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief <laughs> cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Look at him and his little pet monkey, and you just put in my channel name, scroll down, you'll see him. You know, this guy hides his face. You know, I did that for a while, too, for my own reasons, but here I am, okay? Uh, but he hides his face, his little pet monkey, you know. Get some sleep there, young man, please. Please. Please get some sleep, okay? Okay, again. And his again, little pet monkey, on, they're going to, you know. Okay, first of all. I want to point something out. He's accusing us of, of being deceitful with the words. Meanwhile, he's not even mentioning our names while attacking us in this video. Second of all, uh, again, personal attacks are not arguments and don't prove anything. So we'll continue. But the door I'm thinking of is a door of utterance. I'm not on about kicking Jesus. Yeah. 
Also, I want to put this out too. He goes on to quote Jesus Christ. Oh, come on. This guy has no respect for Jesus Christ. He calls him a skin suit and calls his flesh sinful. So this guy has no respect for Jesus Christ at all. If you look at, I'll show, me, show you my Twitter page. Uh, it's called, uh, my me, me Twitter username is boot the door and shout through the crack. Because that's what I've had to do with some Catholics, sort of. Not literally, yeah. obviously. But the general idea is, you know, if uh, you, you get a bunch of Catholics sort of in an echo chamber in their room and you boot the door and shout in the truth, you know what I mean? It's, which is yeah, basically what I, I try and do. Yeah, exactly, yeah. In fact, the title of my channel was Boot the Door and Shout Through the Crap, but then somebody whinged at me, oh, your YouTube channel name's a bit long. Oh, wait, hang on a second. I want to point something else. Aaron po pointed out in the comments section that um, – that when he says I get proper sleep, he's referring to basically my night shift job, which again, it's a personal attack. And by the way, too, you know, the night shift workers, it's just a fact you don't get proper. And by the way, too, he kind of forgets the fact that in the stream, I mentioned that I quit that job and I, I'm yeah. getting proper sleep again. He so, must have been watching then or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the fact that, because I said that like a good chunk into the, I said that like really like far into the stream. So he must have been watching the whole, I mean, he must have been watching that stream. The fact that he knows that about that. Because, and, well, uh, and, but, but not to mention too, he he misses out the fact that I said I quit that job, so yeah. Somebody told him that Jeff was in there. I think that might have been what got him interested, because yeah. Jeff Allen came in the other day. You came in, that would trigger him. And also too, the thing is, is that whether or not I'm getting proper sleep or not, it doesn't prove anything. It's all just personal attacks, and they, it, it just does not prove anything. Just go down. These two are working together. And their channels, they have, between the two of them, they probably literally, <laughs> literally have close to 200 channels. Oh, Struth. Oh, come on, bro. Notice, notice who he says, probably. So it's not a definitive statement. It's just him it's, it's just him throwing accusations. So 200 channels. I haven't got the time. I, I'm, I'm, my, my internet provider probably wouldn't even allow me to have that many channels. Or... or, um, or, or for example, if I had that many channels, I would have to wait because there's a limit to how much you can create at a time. Yeah, but I mean, if I was going to do proper sock accounts, I'd need a new email address for each one. Yeah. And I'd have to keep track of passwords and all that stuff. And No. I will I will say this, though. I will say this. I do have some extra like accounts for Google, for Google Drive, but I'll, I only use those as Google Drive accounts to store extra stuff. I don't use them as, as sock puppet YouTube accounts. So... So anyway, you can continue. This is this is just really here on YouTube and on other platforms. Okay, boot the door. Okay, the thief cometh not but for to steal, and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Hmm. And verse twelve. But he that is an hireling, and some other people we know, and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep, and fleeth, and the wolf catcheth them, and scattereth the sheep. Boot the door. Jesus Christ is the door. You might want to consider changing your channel name there. Because, look, look, look people. People, look, look at this guy's content. Any instruction in righteousness, any doctrine, any exhortation, any comfort? No, it's just slander, attack, 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 attack. That's all this guy. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And this guy has an infatuation with this, this, this young man, okay. This young man, he 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 really does, yeah. and he also has he also has one in for me because um, <laughs> he likes to tell you that because he can utter with clarity, Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, Jesus is the Lord. He wants you to believe that because he can say that that he's actually of the Church of the Living God. He's he's not even a Christian. Okay. Hold on. Oh, I remember Brad doing his. Uh, 
thingy. And you know why he went back on it, John? Why? Wait, what, didn't you say his wife couldn't make that confession? That's why he, he rolled back on it? That, that's a fact, because I was in a conversation with Brad on, the, I think they call it Google Chat, Google Hangouts thingy. I can't remember now. Uh, I asked him if his wife had made that confession. He went to a birthday dinner with her. He took her out for a birthday. He took his wife out for a birthday dinner. He said he asked her, and she wasn't able to make that confession. The next day, he goes against the whole, uh, well, what did he call it? The Antichrist test. And he said it was all a load of uh, BS. And then Aaron said... I also, want to, I also want to point this out. I also want to point this out as well. So he accuses you of not having any teaching exhortation videos. But, you know... I personally would disagree with that. I think many of your videos I actually really, really um, find really good, actually. But first of all, I think it's funny how, because remember, his video is about both of us, right? Notice how he doesn't go through my channel, because I actually have actual studies on my channel. So, because he, he's selectively trying to use certain evidence to, to prove that we're Jesuits, but, you know. Anyway, I've you, you spent can... a lot of hours actually discussing scripture with Brad, with you, 982, Matthew Landau. Yeah. <clears throat> didn't we do a 14 hour live stream once yeah it was so long that like like we were like falling asleep or something like that but that's how long it was but i know i fell asleep during it i think i actually was, i think near the end of it i was kind of nodding off too and i went to bed anyway you, you can uh you can continue right there's only a couple of minutes left of this he, he, yeah. i mean he really is not and you know, there are those out there who I have evidence on this guy. Lots of it. <laughs> okay, they bring it out there. Show see, the evidence. He, he, he doesn't want what evidence? Yeah, okay, hang on a second. So if you have evidence, then bring it out. Come on, show the evidence. If, 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 you're, had if you it, have it, evidence, then show the evidence that we're Jesuits. If you don't, then yeah. I think you're lying. Evidence? What is he on about? Here's the thing. If you Certain have evidence things. that proves someone's a Jesuit, then bring it out. Don't, don't Like, why are you hiding it? Bring it out. Come on. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. If I was truly a Jesuit, he would never be able to get the... Oh, hold on. He would never be able to get the evidence. Oh, that's proof of it then. Yeah. Oh, oh I have evidence, but I'm just not going to show it. Yeah, how convenient. Yeah. It, it's because he probably doesn't have evidence. Because there, because there is no evidence that we're Jesuits. I couldn't afford to go to uh, Jesuit University. Yeah, you know how expensive those places are? They're really expensive. I couldn't... Uh, I like, don't like, know, the, John. The night shift work I was doing would not, did not pay nearly enough to afford that. Yeah. See, Brian whinged about a 14-hour live stream. Oh, yeah, they were in an eight-hour live stream. Brian whinged about it once on one of his streams or videos. Yeah. Oh, it's nuts. It's insane. Yeah, the, these, yet, people, he, these people are really wicked. But he's completely, he was complete. obviously, I'm going to be charitable, he was probably completely unaware that his own uh, people that followed him, Matthew Lando, uh, Jeff, you, me, I mean, I wasn't exactly a follower of Brian, but uh, I didn't, uh, I mean, he has done a lot of good videos as Brian, but his own crew, even uh, Tim, <coughs> came into that 14-hour live stream, nearly twice as long as the one Brian was whinging about. <laughs> you know. Oh, well. And Brad was in that 14-hour live stream as well. He came in. He used to come in Friday night, 10 p.m. Yeah. Still yeah, yeah, I'm still, yeah don't worry, I'm still here. Yeah, Brad... Aaron Deering, 982, uh, Matthew, uh, Tim. Tim didn't come in very often. A <gasps> couple of others. And what he'll do is he'll he'll tag videos for uh, doxing when he has done it himself by giving out personal information about other people. You can't see... What? Personal information? Like what? Again, notice how he never shows any proof of all this. It's all, it's all just him talking. I've never doxed anybody, John. See that because he hides his tracks. His ways are movable. He, this, this guy, this guy, this guy. Like I said in a previous video, 
I would pray that the Lord would save my worst enemy. I'm not your enemy. That's you. <laughs> and the fact that you will never get saved is kind of heartbreaking in a way, but it is what it is. You've made your bed. You're not going to repent on your deathbed and then go to heaven. It's not going to happen. Okay? It's not. So, keep an eye out, by the way. Him and his little pet monkey, they're going to come out with all this stuff. See, they, like all these devils, they really can't stand that video about the skin suit where we, through the scriptures, debunk the worship of flesh. Like this guy, his little pet monkey, and all these Catholics do. They worship the skin suit. They make, well, it's inappropriate that you say, call flesh the skin suit. Huh? It's inappropriate that you are calling flesh God. No, hang, 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 hang on a second. Hang on a second. I want to put this out. Hang on a second. Hang on. We're not saying it's inappropriate. We're saying it's inappropriate that you're saying that Jesus Christ's flesh is sinful. That's what we're saying. We're, like nobody's saying he that. Said that. that, John. I heard him. I've got the download of it. I'm sure I have. You have. Yeah. I know that. See what this is what doing. He's he's he's, he's strawmanning us. Like no, like none of us ever said that that the flat that we're we're against the, the the idea of sinful flesh. We're against him saying that Jesus Christ flesh is sinful. That's what we're against. But, we're, but like yeah. again, he's he's, he's basically lying about what we're what we're saying. But he referred to Jesus Christ as a skin suit. Yeah. Oh, by the way, too, I want to put this out. He says that Catholics who, so I guess JT is a Catholic as well, because he he also rebuked the Carnival KGB on that as well. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll post a video in the description. JT also did a, a video. At, well, basically, it was mostly about Philip Newton, but at the end of the video, he rebukes the Carnival KGB as well. Oh. Right. I think it's on the uh, Brian Denner Cult Archive channel. Uh, it was. I think it was. Oh. It was reposted on there. I think. Mm hmm. Well, if you give it a time stamp, we could play some of that. Yeah. Mm. So carry on with this, John. You can carry on, yeah. There's only about two or three minutes left. Yeah. In the flesh. I know it's really hard for you two to get that because you're lost, okay? But anyway, that, that's going to be it. I do not have time to waste on this excellent bloke but you know i figure since he makes so many about me and i've made my videos against him but uh unlike this video um see they put the name in there to of the channel or whatever so that when you're trying to teach truth their lies come up to distract you from the truth oh kind of like another uh pet monkey to another individual but i will deal with those guys at the appropriate season let them do what they're gonna do at a certain season of this year if i'm still here we're still here whatever at a certain season when they're going to be patting themselves on the back yeah that's when that's when we will deal with those people but until then this guy i'd like to tell you to go get saved but you're not going to May you live your days in pleasure. May you live in good health for the remainder of your days. May you satisfy yourself by causing strife and debate and attacking people. And may you get rest because the scriptures say of you that you will not rest until you cause mischief or cause someone to stumble or fall. So I hope that you get yourself rest, that you sleep sweetly, and that your life goes well for you, dear friend. You excellent bloke. Because this is the best you are ever going to have. Because when you die, you are going to hell. So, live it up. Live it up. Have a great life. Seriously. Seriously, man. Seriously. Seriously. I do. I, 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 hope, I, hope, uh, I hope things abound for you. I hope you prosper. I hope that a little apartment of yours is very comfortable. I hope you got the best that i i hope you got the best that your father can give you i really do i really do i'm not is he referring to me because I, I live in a apartment you're referring to me i'm not sure i, I don't know what, i mean that that is the problem really there's no you can't no, really tell because he, he doesn't mention our names so no. you can't really tell who's referring who he's referring to no there's no clarity to you know when he's coming out with these accusations to what he's referring yeah. to or who he's referring to yeah
But he can't deny that he's... I mean, even Jacob Thompson, the uh, big tamale in the Brian Denlinger crew, uh, has pointed this out about Brad, his, his false teaching. And Brian has booted him out. Yeah. Specifically in his video naming his uh, YouTube channel. And, but the thing about Cannibal KGB is pretty much anybody who disagrees with him is a Jesuit, apparently. Yeah, but, I mean, why would a Jesuit even attack Brad's channel? Yeah. I mean, I've never been able to really listen to what he he's supposedly teaching on there. Yeah. It's it's lightweight stuff. Yeah. I, I could teach stuff, John. Um I mean I we was I mean I said to you, you know, before we started the stream, before I'd, I knew about Brad's video, I said to you, let let's do a stream and discuss some scripture. Yeah. Because you went to, you it was about eleven o'clock this morning, which was about nine nine hours ago. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. I've had a bit of a sleep because I needed to. I mean, I, you know what I mean. I'm getting old, but yeah. we were going to discuss some scripture. I was thinking about Moses and the burning at uh, the burning bush or something, you know. Uh, but then yeah. this Brad comes up with his video, and you know. Had to say something about it because this guy just keeps lying, and we've got, he deserves to get well, not deserves, but you know, he deserves to get some pushback. No, he definitely deserves. It. I mean, the pushback he gets, he just kind of deserves it because he brings it upon himself, really. Anyway, you can continue. Or is, it, or is that the end of it? I hope that the little apartment of yours is very comfortable. I hope you got the best that I. I hope you got the best that your father can give you. I really do. I really do, because that's the best you're ever going to get, buddy. I pity you. I really do. Yeah, I really pity you. You angry, bro? No, no, <laughs> hang, 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 hang on a second. Hang on, stop right there. There, right there, he's displaying works of the flesh. He's he trying to like he's like taunting. Are you angry? That right there is just displaying works of the flesh. It's emulation. It, it, it's wrath. That's all that it is. Works of the flesh. But do I even sound angry, John? I'm just. So no, well, saying, what he's doing is he's trying to basically provoke us to anger. Saying, "Oh, you mad yet? Come on, you mad?" Like that right there is just works of the flesh. That's all that it is. Wait, 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 yeah. wait. In fact, this whole video is just works of the flesh. That's all that it is. It's emulation. It's it's contention. That's all that it is. Why does he keep doing it? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, you can continue. <laughs> yeah. So. Anyway, that's going to be it. I don't got time for this. But oh, yeah, that, wait, this kid alone. Hang, 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 okay. on hang on a second. You don't have time for this, but you made, you made all these videos about us. Sure. Yeah, he has. How many videos? He's got a long list of them. I mean, he himself videos. admitted he's, he's mentioned us in other videos. So it's like he doesn't have time for us, but then he's mentioning us. You know. Yeah. Well, he keeps deferring, insinuating us to. Uh, again, you go, you go on my John Craig and KGB description. I have two two clips of him very strongly implying that he's talking about me as a Jesuit. And then that's just two. There could probably is more that I'm not even aware of. Those are just two I came across. Or, or two that I noticed and I just made them in the clips. But. There's probably even more than I'm not aware. By the way he worded it, he probably talked about me multiple times in other videos. But we don't know what conversations he's had, and I wouldn't want to know uh, behind yeah. the scenes on Skype. Apparently he's on Skype. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. He's probably pestering Aaron or something. I don't Yeah. See, Brad has done the dirt on Aaron, and yet Brad professed... Uh, what was the exact phrase he used? Dearest, sweetest brother. Yeah, and he calls him. He calls him his sweet, tender brother. I mean, to be yeah. honest, when you have a, a middle-aged man tell, saying that to a twenty-year-old, that is really creepy. I don't, I don't care what, what anyone thinks. That's just. I don't care what anyone says. That's creepy. Yeah, but thing is, John, that that is totally on. I mean, totally inappropriate way for a Christian brother to speak to another supposedly Christian brother, especially someone who's like who's like who's decades younger than you too. I mean, I can never say that to you, John. I mean, what? Well, I mean, just just on a logical basis, when someone is decades younger than you, it's just not appropriate to talk to them like that. It sounds, it, 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 especially especially if you're not like their biological father or, or parent or something like that. Yeah, and even then, you know. Yeah, you, you, even then, like when Joe Biden fondles his granddaughter like that, it's still kind of weird and, and creepy. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, you, you can continue if, if there's any more of it so left. There's less than 30 seconds left, I think. Come on! <laughs> uh, thank you. See you in the next video. Oh, he's, he's, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. This guy is just an absolute clown. Yeah. See you in the next video. He's, a, he's obviously anticipating that we're going to respond to his video, and he's right. I guess we're right. Yeah, we, I guess that we have every right to respond, too. Oh, yeah. Um, because, like, when you attack somebody by name, you have, they have every right to respond to you. It's just, that's just how it works. I mean, Brian Denlinger has named him personally as, you know, like Brad this, that, and the other, and his YouTube channel, booted him, Jacob Thompson, who's the big tamale in the Brian Denlinger crew, no offence to him, I do actually like Jake, for some reason, I don't know why. But, uh, I remember when he first put, he was very tentative about putting his lumberjack shirt on. Yeah. Some months ago, over two years ago, actually. So... Uh, Anyway, is that is that the end of the or that's the end of the video? Well, that was funny. I, I just had to admit that was just really funny. It, it's insane. Oh, and it's funny too. Like Aaron points out in the comments, like Brad's gonna go, "How dare you respond, Jesuit?" Well, here's the thing: when you attack somebody by name, don't be surprised if they respond to you. That's just that's just the way life works. You know, when when you attack somebody, they they have every right to respond. That video link that you put in there, John, is that to that Jake's video? Yeah, the the, the most recent link I posted was was to Jake's video rebuking. Uh, it, it's most the video is mostly about Philip, but at the end, I think the last ten minutes, last ten or, or five minutes, he he rebukes a cannibal KJV. Can you post it in private chat? We could go to it just to prove a point. Yeah, well, I, I actually the, the ghost in actually, but I'll, I'll just post in the chat just to. Oh yeah, yeah there we go. Yeah. I actually the, I I am actually gonna run to the grocery store because the snow is finally cleared out. But that was pretty funny. So, anyway. Anyway, like I said, I had to head out now, so that was fun. Are you coming back in, John? I'll, I'll, I'll come back. I mean, if I get back to back at home at a decent time with the girl, because the grocery store is like a 30 minute walk, so it'll probably take me about like roughly two hours to, to shop and then walk there and back. But I'll, if, if I'm back soon, I'll, I'll we can do another stream, I guess, or whatever. All right, I'll play this then. Um, yeah, we could right. start another stream. Yeah, yeah, anyway, that was okay. Fun. So I'll tell you what, we could go. Oh, what time is it where you are, John? It's uh 3.37 p.m. where I am right now. Right. So, I don't know whether I should go. Did you, would you want to go through this video that you posted a link to there? Or... No, we, we could when I get back. I mean, that could be interesting. But All right. Anyway, I, I have to head out soon because I think just another snowstorm coming. But I'll be, back, I'll be back if I get back anytime soon. So, anyway, bye. All right, John.